Hi everyone! So I'm Lyndon and I'm the teen librarian at the Lockport Branch and thanks for tuning in to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some origami, specifically Star Wars origami, specifically Yoda origami. So we all love baby Yoda so I was inspired and thought I would check out how to make some Yoda origami. And so in your kit, you will get some paper and for making origami. So this is like kind of thin paper that makes it easier to fold it a bunch of times. And it's square. And so you are going to be following along with your kit and making some Yoda origami. We're gonna work on two different patterns. One is like definitely very beginner easy, just a few folds, it'll be great. And the other one is a little more complex, so you have three pieces of paper, feel free to give that one a second try if you want. I definitely had to take a few tries to get this one right. So um, yeah, enjoy, and I hope you like to make some orga Yoda origami. Okay, so we have our origami paper, and before we get started, I wanna tell you that to make this following this video, it could be really, really helpful if you uh, turn the playback speed down and like make me move in slow motion. You can do that with the little gear icon on the bottom of the video on YouTube. And you can also feel free to turn the volume off and not even listen to my voice if you want so you don't have to hear my voice all slowed down. Um, and yeah, most of the like, it, it, it'll probably help to, it, it might help you to um, just watch what I'm doing because I'm not, I'm going to be giving some descriptions, but I'm not going to be uh, like, mo most of it is just going to be watching and copying. Um, so yeah, if you want to watch the video once through and then maybe take a look at it slower, or you can do whatever you work for you. That's just kind of what works for me. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna pick out this nice green Yoda colored paper. So first what you're gonna do is flip the paper over so the beautiful colorful side is on the bottom. And then it'll help if you turn it towards you with like the, if you can see that, the point towards you. And then you're gonna fold it down to be a nice triangle right down the middle through the other two corners. Now all of these things like have technical terms in making origami. I don't know a lot of those, so I'm just kind of showing you visually how to do it with a little bit of description. So then after you have it in this nice triangle, what you're gonna do is fold and make even more triangles because that's how we roll by folding this end down to the center point. And you're going to end up with a little baby square. Okay. So we have our beautiful green on the outside and we have folded from a big triangle down to little triangles that make up one square. Okay. So now you've got the points kind of facing towards you and then you're going to fold so that there's just like a little bit left, if you can see this space, it doesn't really matter what exact measurement it is, but you're going to fold it up and it really starts to look like a little Yoda head with the little ears. So then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to fold it up and you're just making so many triangles. <laughs> okay. So we've folded those ends up. So what you kind of have is you've folded those little points up and if you can see, they line up with how the square is. 
on both sides. There you go. Okay, so then you're gonna fold down the top, which is like the top of Yoda's head. And you're just gonna kind of fold it all the way to where these two meet. So you're just gonna kind of fold it in half down to there and you will give Yoda's head a slightly more rounded appearance. Okay, so that's where we are right now. And then you will continue by giving Yoda somewhat of a chin. And just kind of folding up a bit, whatever you think is good on the bottom there. And you're gonna kind of want to keep it square, if you can see that. So like these are gonna be like a little L-shaped rectangle. This is gonna be kind of flat on the top. Alrighty. And then what you do, you flip it over and you have your little Yoda head shape. And perhaps you will choose to give Yoda a little face. You don't have to, you can do what you want. Yes, I have given Yoda a little baby face. So there you go. There is the very simple version of a little Yoda origami. And we will continue with the one that took me a little longer to master. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to work on a slightly more complicated little Yoda origami. So this one has Yoda kind of standing up and like his whole body and you know, just full, full Yoda, not just the face like we just did. So what you're gonna do is you have your paper with the colored side up and then what you're gonna do is in the last one we folded in half triangle wise like a diagonal this one we're just gonna go right down the middle in a kind of rectangular fashion okay so you've got that and then what you will do is get this fold really nice you're gonna open it up so that you have your fold kind of down the middle and then you're gonna do the same thing, but the other way. So you have a big X in the center. And you're gonna fold it all the way down. For some of these on this one, we're gonna be folding things like only part way, so I'll make sure to tell you about that. So now you've got it opened up and the colored side, you're gonna flip it down and then you're gonna fold this one towards the middle, but you're not going to fold it the whole way. You just, let me flip this so it's easier to tell. You're just gonna fold this one halfway. So you're kind of folding this side in half, and then you're only really gonna press it down halfway. So I'm gonna go that side. So now it's just like you can tell this side is not particularly folded. This side is folded, definitely. Okay, so then you're gonna go around and you're gonna make a little X in the middle of here by folding this one the same way we just did the other one to the middle, but you're only gonna do it halfway and make a little X here. So you're gonna press that one down, but not that one. So you see, we have a little X right there. Kind of a cute pattern. Okay, so then you're going to take this little side you made, and then you're gonna fold that to the center so it's kind of crossed in the middle there. And on this one, you will be folding all the way across. Okay, then you're gonna take the one that's kinda like next to this, not across from it, you're gonna take this one and 
fold it to the center the same way as the other one. And then the one that's on the other side of the one with the little cross in it, you're going to fold that nicely to the center. And here's where it starts to get a little more, uh, not difficult, but just, I don't know, challenging to understand a little bit. So, you've got these. The one that has the little cross in the center already, you're going to have that one opened up and this one closed. And then the one with the little cross in the center, you are gonna fold it uh, kind of to the middle, but not quite. So it's as if you're folding this little square right here to the center of itself, not all the way to the middle of the bigger square. So, just gonna kind of fold right to the middle there. And it's as if you're covering up like one little piece of that square. Okay. So then what you're gonna do, you're gonna refold this one to the middle, but now you see this has a little gap from where you folded that piece down. Okay. So then what you're gonna do is you're going to take where you have uh, this piece right here that we really have not folded yet, and you're gonna take it and you're gonna fold over the center spot and all the way to this little part that is currently kind of green. So that is gonna give you like a little overlap in these corners, but it'll all, it, it's gonna turn out great, I promise. Okay, so if you can see that, what we've done is folded this one over the center, a little hard to see because it's the same color as the back of the paper, but you folded it over the center all the way to that. There's a little overlap here and there will be a little overlap there. So, next thing you do is you take that one and you kind of fold it how it already was, but it's gonna give you an overlap in that corner. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of take this piece that is on top that is overlapping, not this one that has been kind of folded into there, and you're gonna take that and give it just a little bit of an angle and kind of fold this corner over in a little baby triangle, but then it will continue along the edge of that side of the paper. So right here I've kind of started off that fold and then I'm going to fold this over and give it a little bit of an angle so that it's, it's a little bit wider as you go towards the center, if that makes sense. So see I folded that corner over so that's like overlapping kind of perfectly flush with the edge of the fold. And then as you go towards the center, it gets a little bit wider, and that's gonna help you. Okay, so we got that fold all nice, and then we're gonna really start to put Yoda together. So if you can see this up here, this is gonna kind of be Yoda's head, what is already starting to look like a head and ears. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it over so that the side that's still all colored is facing you. And you've got the part I just kind of pointed out that has like ears, sort of. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this down to the middle. So it's already a little bit folded, but we're gonna fold it backwards now. Okay. So you are indeed going to fold it all the way across. Yeah, all the way across. And this will be part of the ear. So now you've got that one down to the middle. We're going to do the same on the other side and form an ear and right down to the middle. Okay, so 
This is what it looks like right now. Now it's really going to start looking like Yoda's ears because we're going to fold them back just like we did in the other pattern. So we've got the all colored side facing you again. Now it has these little triangles on it. And what you're going to do is you're going to fold it kind of similar to that last pattern, leaving a little bit of a gap up at the top, which of course will be the top of Yoda's head again. Just like that. So there's now these little gaps at both sides. This is going to be the top of Yoda's head. There's his ear. And it'll, it'll look more like an ear soon. <laughs> okay, so now what you got is you're gonna do the same thing on the other side and you're gonna kind of keep those pieces even that are gonna be the top of his head right there and then you're gonna take the top of his head which is just this little point right here and we're again going to make it so he has like a roundish shaped head and fold that little tiny bit down to where the backs of the ears meet so if you can see there's now that little triangle. Starting to look good. Okay. So, you have the top of his head, you have the back of his ears. Now we're gonna do some more folding that is going to be kind of like halfway, like we were doing before, not all the way through the paper. So, you flip it over so that the side that's really starting to look like Yoda's head is there. And you're going to take a fold that's kind of like right where the corner of his chin would be right here and you're gonna fold the, the kind of side of his body over like kind of like this but you're gonna make sure that you don't fold through this flap part and you're gonna make sure that you don't fold all the way up through his head so what that kind of looks like is I'm gonna kind of hold it up, not flat, so that it's easier to tell. So, you got this little corner of his chin right there. Like I said, we're not folding all the way through his head. We're just kind of folding his, like, body down to the bottom here, like that. So, then I'm gonna flatten it out, but again, I'm gonna leave this flat free, and I'm not gonna fold all the way through his whole head. Just the bottom, which is kind of his body. Okay, so that is what that looks like. So, that. And then we're gonna kinda do the same thing on the other side. So again, we've got the corner of his chin right here. We're gonna avoid folding through this flap because that's kinda gonna be his arm-ish. And then, we're going to fold that the same way again kind of hard to get it all free. Okay, so there you go. That's what we're gonna fold. Again, not through his head, just through his body. And I'm gonna kind of leave this flap free and not fold that, but I've made ones where that wasn't, where you didn't leave that unfolded, so it's fine either way. Okay. bottom of his body and up to his chin so it looks kind of like that you can see it's starting to take shape and then what we do we're gonna make sure his ears and everything are taking the right shape so what that looks like is we're going to flip Yoda over again and we've got his ear right here kind of the back of his ear right here and we're just gonna kind of make sure that it will take shape when we open him back up again. So that means we're gonna give kind of a fold to where the bottom of his ear would be here, but at the same time, we're not gonna be folding all the way through like we've been doing a bunch of. So. 
right here is where the fold is gonna be. Okay. And this is gonna kinda help him take shape. And stand up and be like three dimensional and stuff. Okay. So it's hard to kinda see in there what I did, but basically it's like right under his ear, you're gonna kinda give it an angle. Right here, you can see that fold? Yeah, that one. And that is gonna help him stand up and be kinda three-dimensional. Okay. So then, of course, we will be doing the same thing on the other side as usual. So if you can see where that little fold went, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side to help him be three-dimensional and everything. So... That, this one is a little bit harder to explain. I don't even know what to call this. But we've got kind of the backs of his ears and this is helping him be a bit more three-dimensional. Okay. So, got that going. We have folded these little bits to help him stand up. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to like the bottom of his body. And you can see where these little folds already existed from the beginning of this. We will just kind of crease those a little bit more and this is gonna help him stand up. So this is a little difficult because they're on the back and everything. Okay, so you see at the bottom of his body there where this is, this little fold, we're gonna fold that, just kind of reinforce the fact that it was folded. And we're not gonna do it all the way through his body, just to kind of that line we made that defines like the edge of him. So right there. And then we're gonna do the same thing as usual on the other side. So this one right here, and fold it in a little bit. And on this side, it's gonna be kind of going past this little edge we made to give him his stick. So now we're gonna just kind of make sure that his ears are in good shape and we got his ears here and we're just kind of folding them back like that. Make sure that is nicely creased. Okay, so now we're just gonna kind of like pop out the middle here and we're just gonna kind of make it so he goes out like that and like that and those folds we made in the back will help him kind of stand up and then just kind of like bend everything a little that we were doing at the end there all the stuff that I said was to help him stand and then the final step is kind of getting his little arms in shape, making sure the top of his head is good, his ears are all good, he's all good. All right, so there you have a little Yoda. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this origami video. Uh, stay tuned for more crafts from White Oak Library District. And uh, thank you.